making any progress, right? Do you get it? So yes, organize your time effectively. And then it comes to point number two, put your phone away. Put your phone away. Put your phone away. Put your devices away. Get off TikTok. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Get off TikTok. guys and welcome back to another video welcome back to all things nursing where i take you on my journey of nursing i share with you study tips i share with you you know my clinical vlogs and everything nursing i am a third year oops soon to be fourth year nursing student here at the university of namibia and today guys i want to talk to you about procrastinating during exams I'm currently busy with my exams and I know you are too or perhaps not now but you know when you're going to start this will be applicable to you so yeah let me quickly just have my water <laughs> guys it's very important to not procrastinate during your exams you think maybe I have five days in between before the next exam so I can just go start two days before or three days before do you know that the earlier you start the better you are able to manage your time and the better you are able to understand you know your topics or your notes because you are not being rushed you are not rushing yourself and you have managed your time well so yeah guys here are a few tips or things i do to make sure i do not procrastinate you know number one i organize my time correctly and effectively how do I do that? Well, um, I have a list of, um, let me see here. These are my subjects that I'm going to write, um, like exams, exams in, right? So I already write down, these are the subjects I'm going to write. How many days do I have in between each exam? And then I'm like, okay, which uh, subject has more content than the other, right? And then I'm like, which subject do I struggle more with than the other? That's how I do it. And then let's say I am writing five days from now. And that module or subject that I'm going to write, I don't really struggle so much with it. But two days after that exam, I have another exam. So what do I do? I start with the exam that um i know i struggle with or has a lot of content and then i try and allocate you know a day or two to finish summarizing notes for that subject and then while it's three days to the subject that i'm going to write i hope this makes sense and you're following while there's two to three days to the subject that i'm going to write then i start with that subject it's the only way to make sure you perform excellently in all your subjects because you don't have enough time to cram or memorize everything when you're already during exam period right so you want to organize your time effectively and you want to organize your time when it comes to studying right i'm spending two hours straight forward and i'm just studying or i'm spending 30 minutes going through test papers or one hour going through test papers or two hours going through question papers and then that's all i'm going to do or i'm going to spend just one hour on this topic two hours on this topic you know you want to organize it to that point because it will prevent you from procrastinating. Like when you have so much, so much to study, your mind will be like, oh, you know what? I can't do it. It's too much. So, or if you are just reading, 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 reading without having, you know, a schedule, you'll get so tired and be like, you're not, it looks like you're not making any progress, right? Do you get it? So yes, organize your time effectively. And then it comes to point number two, put your phone away, put your phone away. Put your phone away, put your devices away, get off TikTok. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Get off TikTok. <laughs> That's one thing that I love to do. I love to sometimes study and then in my breaks, I decide to watch TikTok. Do you know how much time you spend on TikTok without even realizing? You could literally say, I'm just going to take a five minute break. Next thing, it's like one hour. And you're like, oh my gosh, 
I spent one hour on TikTok when I was just supposed to do like a 10 minute break or a 15 minute break. You get what I'm saying? So get off your phone, put your phone away and try as much as possible to not um, go to your phone or go to so social media when you are during your breaks. Perhaps you can decide to um, um, reply your messages or, you know, go on WhatsApp, whatsoever it is. But try as all means to not go on TikTok, to not go on social media pages because once you see that whole entertainment, you're just like, okay, yay, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then you lose focus, you know. And then point number three, prioritize your studies. Prioritize your work, you know. If it's time to study, it's time to study. Don't put anything else above it. Which point number three and point number four, I'm linking it together. Point number four is tell your friends, no means no i'm studying or tell your family members i'm studying do not disturb i literally have a sign on my door my room door that says do not disturb put a note on your door do not disturb study in session put a note on your door do not disturb i am sleeping you know put such notes so that the person or the people around you if you were studying at home they know then they will not disturb that is how you are prioritizing your studies that is how you are prioritizing your exams you know and like i said it's linking it to the first point where i say organize your time effectively prioritize the subject or the module that you know it's difficult for you to understand or it has a lot of content break it down in that way in prioritize it all those things if you put all the systems and schedules in place you know or all those patterns you beat procrastination you get what i'm saying so yes prioritize your study there's a time for everything trust me you will find your friends after exams you will find more parties after exams you will find there'll be a time for shopping there'll be a time man there'll be a time for so much to do after exams because exams it's a once in a lifetime opportunity if you fail you'll have to redo the whole year if you miss trust me i failed an exam before where i just needed one percentage you know so it's very painful to not prioritize your studies not put things in place to help you to be effective to be help you to be efficient because you are putting other things that can wait you know in front of you you know things like shopping things like hanging out with friends things like missing birthday parties things like hanging out with families those things can wait trust me you will always always find them there even in abundance after exam you know point number i've already mentioned point number four which is tell your friends to wait if you gotta study tell your friend to wait if you gotta do what you gotta do tell your family members to wait and the last point is take breaks in between don't be that student that will be studying five hours straight forward i mean it doesn't work like that you know it doesn't work like that take breaks in between you know study for two hours study for an hour take a break for five minutes stretch you know keep your body active Keep your body active as much as you can. Because if you are just always seated, if you're just always, you know, keep your body active. When it's a five minute break, go out, stretch, do what you gotta do, you know. So it, it, it helps you energize your body and eat healthy, you know. Don't be studying and you're eating heavy food, you know. Drink enough water, as you can see you know, drink enough water, eat fruits, you know, don't eat heavy meals that will make you feel sleepy and make you feel dull. You know, when you eat so much and you're so full that when you're studying, you, you're just not making enough progress. I'm one of those students. I study better or I do things better when I'm on an, 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 an empty stomach, you know. I am more productive on an empty stomach. So yeah, don't eat so much. Eat light meals, drink enough water, keep your body active, you know, and take breaks in between. You get it? Take breaks in between. And one thing to beat procrastination, another thing is Organize your study table. Organize the in. Be in an atmosphere or in an environment which encourages you to study. You know, don't be 
in a messy place organize your notes well you know you can paste your timetable on the wall or you can paste your you know little motivation notes on the wall so that it it uplifts your spirit encourage yourself to be like you know what it doesn't matter if the content is a lot i'm going to do this i'm going to study i can do this and involve prayer i pray i pray and be like god it doesn't matter how much i find the content i'm not going to procrastinate i'm going to do exactly what i'm supposed to do at that particular time organize your study table very well keep it in order keep it neat let it smell good let it be refreshing so that you don't be in an atmosphere or in an environment where it's just so dull it's just not uplifting it's not encouraging your spirit so let it smell good let it be tidy let it be neat you know let it be messy in a way that you can understand it do you get what i'm saying so yeah i hope these tips were helpful and uh, all the best with your exams and uh, you only get one chance at it. So don't misuse or take advantage of the opportunity that you have. Give it your best. Give it your all. And yeah, here's the future of great, great registered nurses, a woman in healthcare, men in healthcare. You get what did you do? <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and toodles.